Welcome to the Daily Prophetic Word. And the Daily Prophetic Word for Monday, the 16th of December 2019, is one leg in the world. You have one leg in the world and say that one leg in heaven is enough to earn eternal salvation. Verily, verily, I say unto you, that nobody will enter the kingdom who has not both legs in heaven. Give up your worldly ways, your careers, your riches, your wealth, and separate yourself from the world and the lukewarm churches by coming together in my dwelling places of Zion. One leg in the world. You cannot serve two masters, and this is what you do when you have one leg in the world. I require your obedience 100% and every day. I am a jealous God, and I will not share your soul with the ruler of the world. I am calling you out of your old ways and onto the narrow and righteous path. One leg in the world. With one leg in the world you are counted as lukewarm because you have given your life you have not given your life fully to me. Remember what is written that I will spit the lukewarm out of my mouth. I will not come for a bride with spot and wrinkles or for a wife that commits whoredom with the world. Remember my words the next time when you prepare for a party or enjoying the worldly temptations. And this was a daily prophetic word for Monday the 16th of December 2019 given by the Holy Spirit, one leg in the world. Unfortunately today the mentality of most Christians is that you can just enjoy your life in the world and sometimes even that God will bless your worldly ways and then you will enter heaven and go into paradise. But if you have one leg in the world and one leg with Jesus only, then you serve <coughs> our living God only 50%. And has our Lord and Savior not said that you cannot serve two masters? Now, look at this image. If one leg will be torn and thrown away, will you be able to stand? No, you will fall. And if you remain lukewarm with one leg in the world, then you will be thrown in the lake of fire. But you have a choice and there is always a way because our God is merciful and, has, and kind and he will never let you alone and he will always provide an open door for you. You can separate yourself from the world. As Jesus did. Jesus was in the world, but he was not of the world. The apostles came out of the world, leaving all their jobs and everything and followed Jesus. They were in the world, but not of the world. And you can do the same by establishing a dwelling place of Zion in your home or neighborhood. You can separate yourself and do the heavenly work every day instead of the beastly and worldly jobs that you are doing right now for money. Think about it and listen to our video in the Great Exodus series. It explains it more. If you are guided, please go into the ministry and help us to spread the messages so that we can bring many people out of the world and out of Babylon and onto that path in the great exodus towards the holy mountain, towards Mount Zion that will come down at the sixth seal with Jesus and our Father, Abba Father. And there we will be raptured into paradise. Be ready. Be ready to come out and walk out of the world as the Israelites walked out of Egypt. Your time is now. Thank you that you have listened to this daily prophetic word and I hope that you help us spreading the word with donations, help us with our children's work in Cambodia and assist us in all what we do. Especially in this season where we remember the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Open your heart and send us a few donations. Thank you. I love you all so dearly. Have a blessed day. Maranatha.